Yeah, man, LAZ, man. Not mean I'm here with the big bro. You already know. We gonna tear that Marcy memoirs up. I can't wait, bro. You heard? You ain't heard of. Marcy, Marcy <laughs> history that y'all ain't ready for. Coming soon. That's a fact. Hey, yo, Z-Man Suicide Polo with the Ski Man. Make sure y'all tuned in to that new series, Coney Island Chronicles. You heard? Because I got some heavy, heavy stories coming, and that's a fact. You heard? So make sure y'all tuned in. Make sure you subscribe to that playlist. New and recent episodes, you heard? So that you don't miss an episode. Because it's hard to keep track sometimes. Make sure you follow me on that Twitter. You heard? I'm trying to step my Twitter game back up. I used to be up, baby. I used to be up, man. Know what I mean? trying to clam back up now you're starting from scratch so make sure y'all dudes follow me on twitter we gonna get that retweet gang popping you heard and we gonna fire you off on these episodes daily on that twitter but if you see me tweeting the episode retweet gang that gem pop gang if you ain't following the bro zip with the trip on instagram and if you ain't subscribed to his youtube channel you lack it Let's get to that. I ain't waiting till I get in no mess hall, call it off in no mess hall and none of that. Soon as we got outside that crib and locked up, I lit it on a nigga, you heard? They start fucking me up in the hallway. The whole crib, that the niggas is jumping me, you heard? Are oh, you pulling the stunt? Ah, oh, you pulling the stunt? You think you a thug? That's what they were saying. Yo, you think you a thug? Boom, boom, boom. Fucking me up and all that. So when I get to the why me pen, right? You said you was 13, you played you played 16 at yeah. 13? Yo, gag, 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 you, you, you recording right now? Yes, sir. All right, check me out. Look, my first time on the island went like this. I was in the hood, three of my mans. I ain't saying nobody names, niggas is still active. I was in the hood, three of my mans. All these niggas is teenagers. We all teenagers, but they 16, 17, around that age. I'm 13, AWOL from DF5. Me, yeah, 13, 14 years old. Either, either just turned 14 or still 13, bro. Nah, Nine five, bro. So check it out. We on Roosevelt Avenue. We get pulled over in the car. One ten tickets to the precinct. There. Usually, I only go to jail for the one fifteen precinct. I'm from Corona, so I only go to jail in the one fifteen precinct. This time, I'm going to the one ten. That's the other precinct in the hood. So we get in there, and it's like, yo, son, tell him you sixteen. You gonna go to the Allen with us, you heard? So now, you know, you hearing all the stories about the Allen. That's back when niggas could call the pay phones. So now some of my men is on the phone two, three hours a day calling the pay phone. They got it lit. I don't mind going to the Allen with these niggas, you heard? Like, let's go. Tell them niggas I'm 16. I, 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 I think I told them niggas I was born in 77, you heard? I think that, I think that math, I think, I think it was like 77 or some shit like that anyway. So I get on the Allen, I had a Helly Hansen on, you heard? I had a Heli Hansen on, and I forget what kind of sneakers I had on. I know I had the Heli Hansen on, the red, white, and blue shit, you heard? We go to Mall 1, go to Mall 1, all of us, when we get to the Allen, we all go to Mall 1, boom. Niggas in Mall 1, two, three days, they start splitting niggas up. They send me, they send me to, um, they send me to Mall 2. I go to Mall 2, and like, you know, they, 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 they tell you what bed you going to and all that. I'm telling you, I'm not sleeping in that bed. You know, I know, I know the rules. I'm saying I'm not sleeping right here. Like, niggas got to get me. So niggas, like, oh, you want to sleep back? They're like, yeah, I want to bed back then. So niggas like, ah, yo, that nigga tell a nigga like, yo, son, switch back to him real quick, you heard? So when he said real quick, you know I'm saying? When he said real quick, I should have knew something, you heard? He was like, yo, switch your beds with him real quick, you heard? So get my little bed roll. I take it back then. Soon as I start making up that bed, them niggas get to start wrenching me, right? Trying to take the hell the answer off. I got my arms folded. I'm letting them niggas do whatever they want. Y'all niggas do whatever y'all want. Y'all not getting this jacket off. If y'all get this jacket off of me, it's going to be bloody. Nobody going to want to wear it. It was red, white, and blue, but it was majority white. You see, you remember the hell the answer? Yeah, yeah. All right. I so probably was like, what year you said this was? Nine, five. Yeah, I was already up north, but I was seeing those... In the Source magazine and all of that. Yeah, so look, the niggas is like, they trying to get it off me. So the niggas is like, 
So it's, it, it, it's a nigga, he, he, he about my size, he a little, but you can tell you older than me, he like my size. He hitting me mad hard, boom, in my face, you know, a nigga telling a nigga, stop hitting him in his face, because you're gonna start bleeding, you heard? And they giving me mad body blows. I, so I'm, I'm ready to tell these niggas, like, yo, man, y'all, I'm 13. I'm saying, like, y'all niggas is wilding on me. I'm 13 years old in the crib, you heard? So whatever happened, one of the niggas in the crib was like, yo, leave that little nigga alone, you heard? Sneakers is off, everything. Yo, leave that little nigga alone, you heard? Get that nigga his sneakers back. Oh, niggas throw the sneakers back there and all that. Niggas throwing them at me. You know what I'm saying? I put my sneakers on and all that. So nigga like, yo, come here, man. Nigga like, yo, how old you is, B? I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm 16. Like, you ain't no fucking 16. I'm 16. Nigga like, yeah, all right. Whatever, nigga like, yo, go put your bed back where them niggas told you to put your bed at. And I'm saying in two weeks, if you all right, we'll let you come sleep back here with us, you heard? Yo, son, I was on front street. You know, like, you know, in the mall house, the bathroom, like, 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 you know, the bed, like, not on the side of the wall where you can't about, see in the you talking, bathroom. You, you talking about Broadway? I'm to Broadway, right there, the bubble right there. The fu- I hear everybody phone call. I hear everybody arguing with they broad. I can hear a nigga fart when he taking a piss in the bathroom, everything. And I'm mad as a motherfucker, you heard? So I'm nigga, no, but I'm, look, this shit ain't last long, look. They, they, they telling me I can't really get on the phone. They telling me like, yo, you gotta wait till tomorrow morning to get on the phone, like in the, in the, in the, in the, in the morning time, 11 o'clock or some shit like that. I'm telling me like, I gotta call my people. I'm saying like, I gotta call my people tonight. I left the crib with them niggas. Niggas like, yo, you gotta wait till tomorrow and all that shit. So I said, all right, I know what I'm gonna do. Niggas had eight yet. Mall two used to go to the mess hall, you heard? Mm. I ain't waiting till I get in no mess hall, call it off in no mess hall and none of that. Soon as we got outside that crib and locked up, I lit it on a nigga. You heard a nigga that niggas used to be talking. I seen, you know, you could tell who the day room niggas is and all that. I seen he was a day room nigga, lit it on that nigga. They start fucking me up in the hallway. The whole crib, like, the niggas is jumping me, you heard? Oh, you pulling the stunt? Ah, oh, you pulling the stunt? You think you a thug? That's what they were saying. Yo, you think you a thug? Boo, boo, boo. Fucking me up and all that. So when I get to the wild meat pen, right? I get to the wild meat pen, I'm telling niggas, like, yo, listen. I ain't going back in no house, you heard? That's over. This has never happened to me in jail. You understand what I'm saying? Like in Swarfin and all that, upstate DFY, this shit never happened to me like that. I, I be the nigga in the crib, you heard? Niggas ain't never been beating me up like this. I get in that pen, I told them niggas like, yo, man, listen, man, I'm AWOL from DFY, man. Like, what? Come to find out, I ain't unbeknownst to me. My uncle worked in Ma 2, you heard? Yeah, you off that day. My uncle worked in Ma 2, you heard? <laughs> You said you Nah, not that day. I'm, I'm telling them. I'm, in that pen, I'm telling them niggas everything. I'm saying, after that, I'm like, yo, listen, man. I'm 13 years old. And I'm saying, they're like, what? I'm 13, man. My name's such and such. I told them niggas I was 16, so I cut it Allen. I'm AWOL from DFY right now. Word them up. Like, that, shit, that shit was a whole lawsuit, too. Even, even if you lied about your age, them niggas were supposed to do some yo. more investigations before they believed that you was 16. Back in the days they was on? back in the days they, a nigga could they, tell a nigga anything. They never do no investigations, homie. They never did no investigation. They don't they probably don't do no investigation. If you go and get locked up right now, nah, you tell them nigga your name. Nah, it's a rap now. They they computerized now. You, they, yeah, your fingerprints is gonna pop up and all of that. Back then it was it was paper fingerprints. It's gonna take your fingerprints three, four weeks to pop up. That's what niggas was telling me in the car. Yo, when your fingerprints pop up, you gonna go back to DFY anyway. That's what they was telling me, you heard? Mm. That's the only way niggas got away with that. Nowadays, they, like I, 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 I caught a gun charge in 9 8 and they fingerprinted me with some electric fingerprinting shit. So, all right, that shit been around for a long time now, you know what I'm saying? But. That's how that shit happened. And then when I told them niggas that, the niggas sent me the two lower. You know, that, that piece of shit, the niggas sent me the two lower. Same night, I was in a spot called Edwin Gould. Same night, the niggas at Edwin Gould came and got me, bro. And they took, you back, they, took you, they took you back upstate to DFY? Yeah, and I'm saying, I was in a spot. My, the, 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 the spot I was in was called Edwin Gould. That shit was in Spring Valley, New York, you heard? So that shit is right there, Rockland County, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mind you, not like, like, like this shit, this shit is going on. This shit, this shit is going on like four thirty. Like I told them, I'm a wall from DIY right now. We could call that spot right now. Like so, and then I start telling like, yo, my uncle working more to his name is Jackson. Blah 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 blah. I thought that nigga, that nigga wasn't in the crib when I got there. If he would have been in that crib when I got there, none of that shit would have happened. You heard? Like, oh, notorious. Like that was that nigga crib named Jackson. Them shit. Anybody been to more too? Like in the nineties and all that, they know that. Right? Yeah, they, they, they. Jackson name been mentioned on this on this channel plenty of times. Yeah, that's my uncle, dead ass, like dead ass. So what you did? You said you you escaped from DFY. 
I was, I was like, I used to go AWOL, niggas used to get home visits, I never go back. But the spot was right there in Rockland County, right? So this is how we used to do this shit. <laughs> the bus used to come from the George Washington Bridge called the Red and Tan, you heard? Mm-hmm. And drop you off right in the town. And drop you off in Spring Valley. And then you could basically walk. You walk, you walk like probably like eight blocks. But it's long. And I'm saying you walk, you could walk to the compound, you could get in a cab. You however you can get, but it's right there, and I'm saying like the red and tan. So this is what niggas used to do. Niggas used to go AWOL, right? Niggas get a home visit, niggas ain't going back. You go, you come home Friday night, supposed to go back Sunday afternoon, niggas ain't going back. This is what we used to do the nigga. Sometimes you get knocked, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes the warm squad niggas knock, you take you back to the spot, you sit up in spa for a few days, DFY come get you, you heard? Sometimes the DFY spot themselves will be in your hood in the vans and all that, the niggas will chase you down. Who you said, you the, the DFY niggas themselves will come looking yeah, for you sometimes? Yeah, hell yeah, nigga. Hell yeah, nigga. Like if they find out your, like, your son, the nigga used to be on some bullshit. Like if they find out we help the nigga get up out of cause like say a nigga go AWOL, right? When you come back, they take your sneakers, you heard? They take your sneakers. You be on your in your room and they take your sneakers. They might take your sneakers for two weeks. Or, 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 or sometimes they might say, your seven days, no sneakers. You in your room, room restriction and all that. Like you can't do nothing. If somebody slides you a pair of sneakers so you can boogie again, or they taking everybody's sneakers for a couple days, you heard? Like, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So what, yo, son? <laughs> yo, what time niggas had that? The niggas had my man's nigga in the hood. The DFY nigga, the niggas I was with, nigga. The niggas had the niggas in my hood. I seen them niggas. I think none, none of that shit. Like, oh shit, yo, what up? One of these niggas came home on a home visit to my crib before you heard. He came on a home visit to my crib before my son Brandon from Harlem. You heard. So his mom's had died. She ain't had nowhere to go. He ain't been on a home visit in a whole year or better. So kind of my shit, you heard. So boom. This day, I'm AWOL. This year, yeah, the summertime, I'm AWOL. Them niggas is in the park. I'm like, oh, shit. Word of my mother, my son Raymond grabbed me in a bear hug. Like, yo, come on, y'all. Whole spot pop up, bro. Whole spot pop up. Yo, my niggas started washing them niggas, bro. That shit was legendary in my hood, bro. Washing the DFY niggas? Yeah. Like, the niggas that I was locked up, my, my mans, my mans I grew up with in the town was fucking the niggas I was in DFY with up, bro. Cause the DFY spot I was in, I right, check it. The Evan Gould shit. And I'm saying the shit used to be called the shit used to be called um 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 Lakeside, you heard? It used to be called Lakeside, they changed the name to Evan Gould. So the shit had niggas in there that was on the pens petitions, the shit had niggas in there that caught cases, and then they had the shit the volunteer niggas. Volunteer niggas ain't volunteer to come here, you heard? But those is niggas who like ain't had no moms. And I'm saying instead of being enforced, kid, they had the niggas and some shit. So this shit was like a big ass. It's a kid. It was a big ass. It was bitches on that shit and all that. So we had like a big ass group home, you heard? Mm. Like a big ass group home in Spring Valley. Like that shit was lit, you heard? Like we used to be having beef with the niggas in the town and all. Like they had some mad Haitian niggas up there. The Haitian hip hop posse, you heard? Niggas used to be oh. go- venturing off into the town. Yeah, nigga, this, yo, check it. Come home, come home on a home visit, right? Say, right, I ain't going AWOL, but I'm going to do this. Get a couple packs from niggas in the hood, 40, 60s. Like, yo, give me 20 dimes, nigga, give you those. Yo, give me 20 dimes. Niggas know, niggas know you're going AWOL, so they, they dropping them packs off on that nigga, you heard? Get two, three packs and go get on the bus and go back early, you heard? A day early. Go back a whole day early. You got all the cracks, you stash all the cracks on the compound. They walk in your crib, they're going to patch you down and all that, strip search you, whatever. I'm saying it, you know, you go get your shit later. That's why you bring the weed back and all that like that. And now, niggas is alright. So now, if you going off of the compound for more than two hours, you a wall. I'm saying anything two hours or less, you unaccountable. The, 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 the town, Spring Valley, is right there. Niggas is blowing it up there on pedal bikes and you know, niggas got pedal bikes stashed in the bushes and all that. Niggas ride up there hitting like the dimes from New York is thirty, forty dollars. Like, that shit was lit. But yo, let me ask you, bro. That 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 shit you that shit you made famous. Let's get to that. That's a slang that niggas is saying up north now, or that's some shit you made up. Nah, yo, listen, son, that's some shit. I was in Governor, right? I was in Governor. Shout out to my niggas. I was in Governor, but I'm gonna say all these niggas' names. My son Quay from Bed Stuy. My son Mo Bad from Queens. My son Ricky Fats from Harlem. Um, my son Prince from Queens, my son Busy, yo son, listen son, we used to be in the crib, son, my son Smurf from Long Island, like yo son, that was our shit, regular conversation, I'm, 
Nigga, you talking about LeBron better than you? Nigga, let's get to that. Like, that was our shit. You heard? Reply to that, right? Like, that was our shit. That was the natural slang. You heard it. So when I came home, when I came home, you know, I'm like, I'm popping shit on the end of the songs and all of that. And I'm saying that shit, you heard? Yo, let's get to that, nigga. I'm saying? Like, that's just part of my regular lingo. Like, when I leave that spot, I had the whole calm stock saying, let's get to that, you heard? The whole calm stock saying, let's get to that. Like, just natural. I, I left governor, the police spanked me, you heard? Police spanked me. I ate like I ate like I ate like an ounce and a half for the deuce. I'm saying I ate like an ounce, ounce and a half for that shit. That shit had me going crazy in the shit room. You know what I'm saying? And um, the niggas washed me, slammed me all in my face, put stitches in my shit, and all. I went to upstate. What you I mean that upstate. shit? That shit busting your stomach or some shit? Nah, son. I did them niggas. Yo, son, I'm the best, man. Yo, listen. I come off the floor, right? I come off the floor. You know what I'm saying? The nigga say, yo, son, I see something shiny. He, he t- for you know how they tell you, bit him and spread him. You know what I'm saying? He say, yo, bit him and spread him. So I bit him and spread him. You know what I'm saying? He like, yo, do that shit again. You know what I'm saying? So now you know the vibes. I know, I know it look crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know I just, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, what you mean do that again? He was like, yo, bend over and spread him again. So he talking loud. He trying to get some attention. You know how them niggas do so he said it again. So I'm like, I don't want this nigga to get no nothing. So I bend over. I do it again. When I do it again, the nigga kicked me in my ass, boy. The nigga kicked me in my ass. You know, you be butt-ass nigga. Nigga kicked me in my ass. Boom, fat nigga. Boom, my head hit the wall. Boom. Oh, shit. The nigga start trying to pop. Now, you know, nigga, you ain't really trying to do nothing. I curl up like a cheese dude. Let him get his shit off. He talking, nigga, what you got in your ass? Shit, what you, I don't got nothing, nigga. What you got in your ass? What you got in your ass? Got nothing, nigga. The nigga take me to the shit room, so... As soon as I get in the shit room, you know, you be on the floor, you be drinking a lot of shit. I got a piss, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, let me take a piss, man. So the nigga bring the shit for me to take a piss. When I pee in it, he go pour that shit in the toilet, you heard? I said, oh, he hit. You know what I'm saying? The next piss, I gave it to him, but he went to pour that in the toilet. I went and got that, you heard? Boom. Now that shit is in my pocket. You understand what I'm saying? The load in my pocket, that shit ain't, that shit ain't busting in there. I ate that shit. I ate it on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was in the shit room for like four days. So, you know, I can't shit. I think it was because, you know, you smoke bogeys. You can't smoke a bogey. I can't take a shit. You heard? I was shit for like four days. So, I'm like, yo. And now they running in the cell two, three times a day. You know what I'm saying? So, I can't keep playing games with them. Shit is like an ounce and a half. I got one that I can carry. I ain't got to worry about nothing. That's like the half. But the zip is kind of big. I can't keep playing with these niggas with this shit. So, I lay down. I, I, I catch a police nigga that go to sleep. He went to sleep. I lay down, bust that shit open, I start chewing that shit up. So, you know, the juice is in that shit. You can't eat all of this shit. So I'm spitting that shit on the walls. Spitting that shit is disgusting. Make me want to throw up right now. I'm talking about this shit. Spitting that shit on the walls. And then I swallow that shit. So now, you know what I'm saying? Any nigga know, you know what I'm saying? You getting a bag up north. Anything bust open, they can't charge you for it. That's toxic waste. You heard what is that? That's not drugs. That's toxic waste. Can't charge me for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying I swallowed that shit, but you can't. Like the deuce is disgusting. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna hold that shit down, anyways. What I that swallowed shit, what that shit tastes like mad bitter. It's like mad medicines, and it's, it's it's disgusting, bro. It's like it's hard to it's hard to explain, bro. You know, like how you know, like how you like smoke your like, weed. You, you know, like when you smoke weed and a little bit of weed like go in your mouth and, and you you like you spit that shit out. Yeah. And, it's a nasty taste, but it's manageable. Like, it's manageable. The deuce is not manageable like that, you heard? Like, if a piece of that shit, like, do that shit, you be, that shit make you start gagging, you heard? Mm. You know what I'm saying? That shit make you start gagging. Like, that's how I did me, you heard? But anyway, I throw that shit up. <laughs> so now I throw that shit up. The police don't even wake up yet. So now this shit start kicking in, though, you heard? Oh, man. Once he kicked in on me, you know what I'm saying? That was it. That was it. Nothing you could tell me. You know what I'm saying? Yo, open this game. He was like, yo, what's wrong with you? Yo, listen, man. Get me to the hospital right now. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yo, what's wrong? I'm like, man, hey, I ain't nothing wrong. I got to go to the hospital. You know, you don't know what's going on. Like, you bugging out. This shit is pain. You know what I'm saying? I used to get the deuce. Yo, I used to get the deuce. <laughs> yo, listen, I used to be a governor, right? I used to get the deuce, right? I used to go to the bathroom, take care of the situation. I roll up a stick, one stick. You know what I'm saying? Tuck everything else, you heard? I'd light that stick up right there. 
And that's how I know it's pain. I don't need nobody to tell me it's pain. None of that. I was smoking that shit, you heard? Oh, this pain right here? Just like catching epis and all that. First stick in the stall. Epi. Nigga, epping out. Nigga, searching your pockets. Looking for the bag. They think you don't know what's going on. You know, but you can't do nothing and all that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Niggas is gonna smoke that too, scrap. Niggas is gonna smoke. That dude's got the jails. Niggas don't smoke real weed up north no more, you heard? Yeah, I heard, man. I can't believe. I ain't. I couldn't believe that shit when niggas told me that. Like, hey, yo, Shot Motai, yo, son, Shot Motai used to give me weed every weekend, man. Green Box, man. That nigga was the, that nigga was one of the best niggas ever with that shit. You heard? That was my son. He'll tell you, son. I had it bad over some weed, son. Like the last six years up north, I ain't even smoke weed. You heard? They stopped testing. They stopped testing for weed for like the last six months. I was up north. And I'm seeing the machines, the machines, some shit with the machines. Everybody, I got like some lawsuits or something. They got, they got this shit reversed and expunged off their records. Anybody that caught dirty urine from like 2019 to like 2020 June, some shit like that. So niggas was smoking loud, like right before I came home. You know what I mean? But other than that, niggas was on douche, you heard? Oh, you said since they changed the laws. Niggas is on some niggas is back on some was back on nah, some weed nah, shit. Nah, hell no, hell no. Them laws is not going to, like the weed laws in New York is not going to affect the niggas up north. I'm saying that shit is still going to be contraband and shit like that. You still probably go to jail for that shit, but <clears throat> you know how they you, when you take the piss test, they they run a, they run a piss through a certain type of machine, word. So you know every few years they change the machines. So I think in 2018 or 19 they got a fucked up machine. They ain't know it was fucked up. Mad niggas called dirty, false positives, whatever niggas was beefing. So when they, when they, the reliability, the reliability of the machine turned out to be faulty. So mad niggas who called dirty urines from like 2018 all the way to like May 2020, all the niggas got these shit like expunged off their record, reversed, and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? And so, and so now they ain't got no machine testing on it. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got no machine. Loud then, but for the most part, it's like 2012, 13. Niggas been on do something off, you heard? They giving niggas a new charge if they catch you with that deuce? I'm saying you, it depend on where you at, really. You know what I'm saying it depend on where you at. You know what I'm saying because it's contraband, so any type of contraband they can give you a new charge for. It don't matter what it is. If it's contraband, then they can lock you up for promoting prison contraband. You understand what I'm saying? But it depends on where you at. Some spots, Shimon County, Elmira, Elmira's prosecuting you, you heard? Elmira's prosecuting you. They, they, like that, you, you know the spots that's like giving up the new ones crazy, you heard? Yeah, we did an episode, man. I had an episode or two on here speaking about the dude shit and the pee now. All that shit is kind of new to me, you feel what I'm saying? But, um, you know, it was from dudes who don't fuck with it. Um... And niggas was saying like that shit was making that shit was having niggas motherfucking popping off. Not I mean making the jail more violent. Niggas said niggas was niggas was some niggas was in there motherfucking crying over that shit and all type of shit. Alright, so listen what it is, right? The shit is like, you know, like niggas, nigga, 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 niggas, nigga, 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 when the shit first come out, niggas calling it the legal beagle. Niggas like, yeah, that legal shit. Like, nigga, I don't want none of that, nigga. I want that real deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want nothing. Fuck that. Because you don't, I don't know if this shit is fake. And if I ain't going to be smoking it, because I so I could be the piss test, go down there, and I come back dirty, I'm going to smoke real weed. You know what I'm saying? So they selling it to you, talking about, yo, it's like weed. It's like weed. It's synthetic weed. It's synthetic weed. The high is nothing the same, though. You know what I'm saying? The high is nothing the same. The shit is like... I, I never smoked dust. You know what I'm saying? I never smoked dust. But like, the shit is a psychedelic drug, you heard? Like, the shit is psychedelic, like, a, like the shit that had you bugging, you know what I'm saying? The shit that had you bugging, like, you get a bad batch of that shit, that shit had niggas epping out, you know what I'm saying? But once you learn, like, like you can't be crazy with it, like, you first you first get hold of that shit, niggas be acting crazy with it and all that, that shit, but, but like, a lot of niggas smoking deuce every day, niggas don't have no situations, you know what I'm saying? Like, the shit's so small, yo, like, yo, you see how, like, you know when you in your car and you rolling up? The, the drums that be in your lap, that's enough to get six niggas high with good deuce, you heard? That little bit that's gonna be in your lap, but when you rolling up a regular blunt in your car, 
that little bit of shit that be in your lap, if it's if, if that was K2, you could put that in a joint. I'm saying you put that in a joint, two papers, and six of y'all niggas would get high off of that if it's good douche, you heard? See what I'm saying? That's crazy. You know, you about to roll up your blunt and all that. The shit that stay in the tray, the little bit of crumbs that stay in the tray, that's two, that's two sticks. That's two sticks of douche, you heard? So that little bit of shit, you know what I'm saying? So now you, so just imagine if you, you might have too much of this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you never know. Like, you might hit the stick too hard, but you got to be easy with that shit. But that shit, like, niggas was ducking the piss test for six years. You know what I'm saying? I, I caught 14, 30 urine, so... You know what I'm saying? Once like that, off my, when I, once I call my 14th dirty yarn, all right, where that deuce at? You heard? Let me get, let's get next to that. Dead ass. So niggas, niggas smoke it in little ass bits like that in New York too? Or the deuce? Or niggas be rolling up heavy brolic L's and that shit? I don't know. I'm saying like, you know, parole said niggas can smoke weed now. So like if a nigga smoking deuce, if a, any, a nigga smoking deuce in the town is just because he liked the deuce. He wasn't, you know I'm saying, he, he, it ain't like he was smoking that, you know what I'm saying, he just liked it. Because parole said a nigga can get high, they want to get. Weed? You can smoke uh -huh. weed on parole now? Yo, listen, man, yo, listen, ah, right, yo, this is good, because if you ask me that, then a lot of your viewers might not know this, you heard? Nobody knows that shit. Ah, right, yo, listen, right now in New York State, not right now, this shit happened like last March. March that just, all right, in March or April, you know what I'm saying, it, a, a memorandum came out. Parole can no longer make marijuana part of your stipulations. You can't have, like, like as long as you following the laws in New York City is, is in regards to the bar, then you good money. They can't do that. They can't touch you for it or none of that. Unless you your case is, is weed-related. So, like, if you go to jail for a gun and you had two ounces of weed on you and they like, or whatever I'm saying, or, or legal amounts of weed, you got illegal amounts of weed on you, then they can make weed part of your stipulation. So in New York, in New York City, you can have up to three ounces of weed on you. A nigga come out of jail right now, this man could give him three ounces of weed in front of the jail, you heard? <laughs> nigga could pass him the weed right in front of the jail. Yo, hit, hit that. Like, dead ass. I, like, I go to parole smelling like weed, all of that. Like, it's, it's lit. I go to parole, you know, they say empty your pockets. I sometimes I put the can in the tray. Yeah, check that out. That's fire. Yeah. Dead ass. <laughs> That's fire, son. It's, 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 That's your son, crazy, it, nigga. That's fire. Nigga like me. I was in right because I was in HDM in a riot over over getting caught with weed on on parole. That's fucked up, man. Yo, and, and parole doing 30 for 30 now in New York, too. What you mean? You do 30 days clean, they take off 30? That's a fact. So five years, five years parole is two and a half years as long as you're doing what you got to do, you heard? That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Yeah. Real talk. They switched this shit up. They switched this shit up, you heard?